Hey YouTube, it's Katrina. Welcome to day 84 of the Orbit. Whoa, this book's really heavy. It is. <laughs> I almost just dropped it. Don Quixote. Miguel de Cervant. Cervantes. I, I'm not, I've, I've heard it a couple different ways. So, this is a piece of fiction, and this book is technically two in one. Because originally the author wrote one book, and then a decade later he wrote the other book. And so now they're more often than not put together in the same book, which is why this is so thick. And no, I did not read this in a day. Oh my gosh. It's just under 950 pages. As you can see, no, there's no pictures, and the font is very teeny. Yes very famous story and um, story well the author is from Spain so it's set in Spain it's considered a Spanish work it was originally published in Spanish and it's probably the most well-known one of Spanish culture well-known piece of fiction in, in uh, that came from Spain and it's considered a masterpiece really it has brought about all sorts, all sorts of movies, plays, operas, ballets, musicals. Actually, there was a musical. I'm not really sure if it's still out now, but it was called Man of La Mancha. And maybe I'll sing one of the songs from it. Um, it comes out every so often, but it was on Broadway at least a few years ago, to my knowledge. Now, the general story is that there is this guy who's in his 50s, and he decides to become a knight errant. So, which basically means he wants to become, like, a medieval-style knight, you know, fighting for his, you know, his a lady from afar who, you know, he attributes everything, all of his good luck to her, and... He just wants to return to her and just be the knight in shining armor kind of thing. And he wants to go on adventures and, you know, beat villains and all sorts of stuff like that. So he just, he, uh, he's a very, very interesting character. And he gets the idea to do this because he's, he read a lot of books. And, uh, so, and actually some of the characters in the book, you know, Everyone who comes into contact with him thinks that he's a little nuts, because he kind of is. And the first part of the story sort of ends with, um, you know, a priest and a couple other people that he knows, uh, Don Quixote, that he named himself, knows, burning his books about knight errantry and all of that, because they think that he's crazy because of reading, which I really love. So anyways, wow, reading too much, what will it do to you? So anyways, he goes on these different adventures. It's told in an episodic way, meaning like little story, little story, thing like that. Things like that. And his sidekick is Sancho Panza, who's this little, you know, stump of a guy who's, uh, you know, he always gets the short end of the stick with everything, and <laughs> he, uh, suffers a lot of abuse because of Don Quixote's mistakes and misjudgments. Great story. It's, it can be funny, um, but really the second part is very philosophical, actually. I found myself, when I did read this book, kind of drifting in the second part. It's the first part that most people remember and where all those stories and renditions of uh, Don Quixote come from. Cause it's just a, it's just such a fun story. So if you do want to read Don Quixote, I would recommend at least reading the first part, which I'm just trying to figure out how long it is here. The first part is the longer of the parts. It's something like 500 pages. Mm, four, I'm sorry, 450 pages is how long the first part is. So, I love this cover. 
I don't know if I mentioned that, but it's so awesome. Don Quixote. Yeah. Alright guys, so here is the impossible dream. As soon as I edit it in, that is. And I hope that you have a great day. Bye. Oh, I wish that I had my guitar! <laughs> Um, instead of singing it, actually, I just decided I'm going to recite the lyrics to the song, The Impossible Dream, which is from the musical Man of La Mancha, which is based on Don Quixote. And, uh, I would love to sing it for you guys, but it's not exactly in my range. My range is G below middle C up to a high E, and, uh, this song is for a man to sing really so yeah I can I can kind of sing it but it won't sound as good so I'll just recite the lyrics okay so the impossible dream to dream the impossible dream to fight the unbeatable foe to bear with unbearable sorrow to run where the brave do not go to right the unrightable wrong to love pure and chaste from afar to try when your arms are too weary to reach the unreachable star. This is my quest, to follow that star, no matter how hopeless, no matter how far, to fight for the right without question or pause, to be willing to march into hell for a heavenly cause. And I know if I'll only be true to this glorious quest, that my heart will lie peaceful and calm when I'm laid to my rest. And the world will be better for this, that one man, scorned and covered with scars, still strove with his last ounce of courage to reach the unreachable star.